Hello everyone, this is Nirmal here for Technique and in this video we are going to test out the gaming performance of the new Moto G or also called as the Moto G 2015 or the third generation Motorola Moto G. Now this device has some uh, improvements over the, the previous generation. Now uh, first up uh, it has a, a Snapdragon 410 quad core chipset uh, instead of the 400 on uh, the previous generation and now it also comes in a 2 GB RAM variant. So right now we have the 2 GB RAM variant along with the Snapdragon 410 uh, chipset and a 5 inch HD display. So now let's test out the gaming performance of this device. So we'll play 4 games. Riptide GP2, Asphalt 8 Airborne, Real Racing 3 and finally the Dead Trigger 2. So let's start off the gaming performance with Riptide GP2. So before we start playing, well, let's have a quick look, look, look at the temperatures. So it's uh, around 32 degrees right now. Uh, so let's see the rear panel as well. So again 32 degrees. Now let's start the Riptide GP2. So you can see that performance looks uh, pretty good although there is occasional frame skips happening uh, it's still playable not a big issue uh, we would say it's uh, slightly better than what we saw on the galaxy j5 with the same processor this has a 2 gigabyte ram uh, the other one had uh, just a uh, 1.5 gigabyte uh, the speaker output is uh, pretty good since it's a front facing speaker uh, it's pretty good the display quality is uh, Pretty okay, uh, not really that vibrant uh, like the J5 which has an AMOLED display. Now this uh, touch response is uh, pretty good and uh, the viewing angles are also pretty decent with IPS uh, display. So now we have completed uh, Riptide GP2, let's see the temperature slight increase from 32 to 34 degrees. So that's uh, not a big increase again, I can see it's 34. Now let's uh, start off with uh, Asphalt 8 Airborne. So we are now playing uh, Asphalt 8 Airborne and here we have set the graphic quality to high. Uh, it was initially medium and now we have uh, changed it to high quality let's see how the performance is so so far the performance looks uh, pretty decent no big issues uh, no major lags uh, you can see slight uh, frame drop here and there but that's uh, not a big issue unlike uh, the J5 which had uh, issues of uh, playing in uh, uh, the high quality graphics so here the high quality graphic uh, uh, setting isn't causing much of an issue uh, it's definitely playable probably this has 2 GB RAM so that's the reason uh, this game doesn't have any issues on this device so it's uh, playable and no major issues here so the graphic quality again uh, looks uh, pretty decent So Asphalt 8 Airborne plays pretty well on uh, the Motorola Moto G 3rd generation uh, with the Snapdragon 410 chipset. So we now completed with Asphalt 8 Airborne. Let's see the temperature. Uh, it's gone up to 36 uh, from 32, 34, now 36. So again a slight increase. Uh, so it's again 35, 36 range. Now let's start the next game, the Real Racing 3.
So now we are playing uh, Real Racing 3. So this game uh, looks pretty good, no lag or issues and uh, our graphic quality also looks uh, pretty decent. So you can see we even after I switched our cameras, uh, it's pretty smooth, no lag or issues. <coughs> so that was Real Racing 3 on uh, Moto G 3rd generation. So now we are completed with real racing 3 so let's have a look at the temperature now so it's uh, now 38 or uh, 39 uh, degrees so again a slight increase now so this is around 37 degree 36.7 so almost 37 range the display is uh, around 38 range now let's play the final game the dead trigger 2 So now we are playing uh, Death Trigger 2. So this is pretty smooth uh, gaming, no major issues or lag. So we completed with Dread Trigger 2 as well. Now let's see the temperature. It's around the 38 degrees. No major increase in temperature after playing for almost 20 minutes now. So it's pretty under control. It's like maximum is around 39.5. So it's less than 40. And uh, the rear panel again. Uh, we'll have a look at the rear panel as well. So it's uh, 37.5. So not major difference here so overall we would say the the gaming experience on this device is pretty good uh, there is no major lag or issues and we would say it's better than what we saw on the samsung galaxy j5 uh, which had only 1.5 gigabyte ram the processor is same on both these devices so here we have a 2 gigabyte ram so overall we would say the gaming experience on the motorola moto g2015 or the third generation motorola moto g is pretty good and the heating is very nominal and under 40 degrees so that is the gaming experience uh, of uh, the Motorola Moto G 3rd generation. Hope you like this video. If you have any questions, drop in a comment and we will be glad to help you out with your queries. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to your YouTube channel for more videos on Moto G. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.